Charles Martel has been in Rise of Kingdom since the game first released. He is one of the oldest legendary commanders and you get him from gold keys. You get him from the tavern, which is known to be home to some of the worst legendaries in the entire game. So the real question is, is Charles Martel still good in 2022? what's going on guys cheers now i have a new found love for charles martel he seems like the gift that just keeps giving okay before his relic came out i was starting to lose a little bit of faith i was starting to feel like he's kind of getting outclassed by the newer legendaries and that's not to say that people started using him less unless you were a well of course but it just seemed like his power relative to the new commanders was really diminishing but now that the relic is in the game and you can pair him with a incredible commanders that we're going to talk about later i don't know it just feels like he is right at home with his slots in my five armies that i use for war now before we begin videos like this one wouldn't be possible if it weren't for amazing sponsors like the one we have today gemstone legends sometimes city builder games like rok can be super time consuming and really demanding and sometimes i just want to lay in bed and chill and recently that's when i found myself playing gemstone legends as a match three game you control a set of heroes who launch devastating attacks against a wide variety of enemies all while having dragons by your side and you can play too by scanning the qr code that's somewhere here on the screen or by clicking the link in the description below you're gonna get 50 dollars worth of in-game items for free so what are you waiting for boys okay go ahead and give gemstone legends a try okay now my newfound love for charles martel came when pass four opened here in my current kvk and I, a lot of you guys have been asking me what, like what my kill points are okay uh, we've only had fighting for like past four at this point i entered kvk with 600 million kill points we're at 742 million so i got like over 100 million kill points in basically like 24 hours of fighting maybe 30 hours something like that i don't really know but regardless when the fighting started i actually didn't have charles martel in my five marches at all i was using guan with cpo i was using nevsky and william as my cavalry march obviously and then i had my herald with my alex and those were the four marches that i was primarily using but at some point i started to feel like my herald and my alex were just getting melted a little too quick i don't know if it's because of the blockade feature in this current kvk because we are in the heroic anthem power up i don't know what it was if they were just getting caught in the open field too much i don't i don't really know but at some point i switched out alex for charles martel and i switched around obviously the support skills a little bit and i just feel like this performed better or at the very least the fact that this army was getting surrounded was performing better in the surrounds so that got me to thinking wow charles martel is still performing really well even as a gold key commander in 2022 so i wanted to make this video for you guys if you're a new player and you're still wondering you just started you hear everyone talking about how charles montel is the best gold key commander and you're wondering is that still true today and yes ladies and gentlemen i really do think charles martel is by far the best gold key commander in rise of kingdoms to this day and let's quickly go over it okay his skills the first skill is very important for charles martel he doesn't deal any skill damage here but he has 30 percent increased damage for four seconds that's a long time to increase the damage of your army we're going to talk about that it's actually very important in just a second he also gains a four second shield of 1200 really nice stuff there that's going to prevent some normal attacks and stuff like that when he's expertise his second skill gives you 20 percent defense 20 percent health and 20 percent march speed those are literally the three things that virtually every infantry commander needs literally he gives you a ton of tanky stats and march speed you need march speed with your infantry insanely good third skill doesn't actually do anything in the open field it's just for your city although as a free-to-play player or low spender martel is probably going to be what's on your wall and this is just going to help you the fourth skill is really nice you gain 30 percent increased counter-attack damage which is one of the reasons why it's so great to have charles martel as a secondary commander because whoever your primary is he gets swarmed and now you're dealing 30 percent more counter-attack damage to everybody that's hitting that army and having that anti-swarm on top of the tankiness that he gives you with his stats and his shield you can slip him behind basically any infantry commander but on top of that he actually gains 30 percent more stats when you have his relic he's gonna get 25 percent more attack which he didn't have any attack before and this is going to be very good for increasing the normal attack and counter attack damage that you're dealing which we've already talked about he's already dealing a ton of counter attack damage already and 
five percent more health that's great that's the best stat that you can have for infantry now back in the day people used to pair him behind Richard and back then there weren't that many counters to this pair because it was just so ultra tanky that you just couldn't do anything about it now sure Richard didn't really deal that much damage and paired with Martel like they had some tanky synergy but they had no way of really hitting packing a punch back but these days there are way better pairs for Charles Martel than Richard and of course you could still use this pair if you wanted to do like PVE and have something like in Karak ceremony where you just want to tank a ton of damage with a single March that's going to be your go-to but Martel can do so much more than just that of course you can pair him with Alex and there's not great synergy with the shields but there's a ton of synergy in literally every other way Alexander's providing that punch that you really need for Charles Martel and you can't reduce the damage that he's dealing it's incredible that includes the extra 30 percent damage you're dealing for four seconds on Charles Mar Charles Martel's active skill now the only thing that I think makes the Alexander and Martel pair age kind of poorly is that you're choosing either the attack tree or the defense tree and I would say that I'm not a huge fan of the attack tree I'm uh, the defense tree I think is maybe a little bit better but it still leaves something to be desired now we can talk about Harold and this is sort of the star of the show and he's not the last pair we're going to talk about in this video but the synergy with Harold and Martel is incredible now back before the relic came out for Martel I used to do a Martel primary with Harold secondary this was back when Harold first came into the game that was sort of the go-to combo unless you could have Pakal because realistically Harold with Charles Martel is sort of like a poor man's Pakal Harold right that's pretty much what it is so a lot of people myself included used Martel primary recently I've been using Harold as the primary and it's definitely performing a lot better and I was sort of wondering why because I figured the tankiness on the defense tree would be really important for keeping Harold alive but then I came to realize that you don't need the defense tree you don't need it because the talents for Harold are so important with rejuvenate okay the reason this is so important is because Harold actually has just instant proc with his active skill so anytime his active skill goes off he gains 60 rage that's his fourth skill there's a 20 percent chance of just casting your active skill it's actually incredible which means you have a 20 percent chance of just gaining 60 rage randomly which is very good and if you watch Harold in the open field he's going to pop off that active skill a ton but one of the cool things that a lot of people forget about Harold's active skill is he actually gives you 20 percent increased damage for two seconds that's right usually when I think about Harold's active skill I think okay he deals direct damage to one target but if he's surrounded he's dealing circular damage and that's where he's is really popping off okay but realistically the synergy with Charles Martel is is beautiful with this 20 percent increased damage because let's ignore this fourth skill for a moment okay let's just assume a normal you know nine or ten turn skill cycle okay that's just average at the beginning of a fight okay you're gonna have Harold skill pop off you'll gain 20 percent increased damage for two seconds so not the turn that the skill is cast but the following two turns and on that second turn is when the secondary commander's active skill would then be cast and in this case we're talking about Charles Martel and what happens when Charles Martel's skill casts he gains 30 percent increased damage for the following four seconds now that is a bigger buff to your army which is very important but that means you have a total of six consecutive turns of bonus damage this is all damage this is raw damage okay this is damage that applies to when Harold's active skill pops off it's increased by 30 percent so imagine this army is getting surrounded you're now dealing circular AoE skill damage and it's buffed by 30 percent and that's on top of the fact that the 30 percent all damage is increasing the normal attack damage you're dealing to your target and the counter attack damage that you're dealing to all of the other people that are hitting you but the synergy doesn't end there because the expertise on Harold gives you 20 percent increased counter attack damage and that's on top of the fact that you already have 30 percent increased counter attack damage on Charles Martel already and remember Charles Martel gives you 40 percent really 45 percent of very tanky stats and that pairs beautifully with the 30 percent increased attack that you get 
from Harold and the 25% that you get from the relic on Martel. You also gain March speed here as well. Guys, there's just so much to love about this combination. And again, the fact that Harold's active skill popping off randomly gives a rage engine to the shield and damage bonus of Martel that you desperately need. Now I'm going to show some reports of this Harold Martel combination in a moment, but I also want to talk about one last pairing here and that is CPO. Okay. CPO is an obvious choice here because CPO is one of those commanders that is just above the other legendaries he's just better than the other legendaries it is what it is he gives a powerful aoe skill damage to charles martel that he desperately needs he gives the attack to charles martel that he doesn't have on his regular skills and more march speed he gives you 20 percent more health we're now talking about 45 percent health plus the 20 percent defense on martel you're gaining additional damage factor and you're reducing the skill damage that you're taking so basically what you're doing here is you're taking the cpo engine you're taking this open field machine and just pumping him full of tanky steroids so if you haven't tried it yet use cpo primary with charles martel secondary and i think you're going to be pleasantly surprised now let's take a look at a couple of battle logs with my Harold and charles martel here is just a quick example of how their skills have great synergy together for six turns of bonus damage insane all damage bonus turn 10 you see this is when Harold pops his first active skill and this is when the unstoppable effect starts on the following turn that's the 20 percent bonus damage you can see it active here on turn 11. you can also see it active here on turn 12 which is also the same turn that charles martel's active skill is going to go off and then the following turn after that that's when you get the 30 percent all damage from charles martel now i actually ended up killing this karak ceremony barbarian before i could get all six turns in total but you get the idea it stacks beautifully all right now let's take a look at some battle reports with harold and charles okay and boys i mean the, okay this this is there's a lot of people involved in the support a lot of them were only fighting for a short amount of time now look at this okay I, I get that like infantry counters cavalry so this shouldn't be super surprising but he had more troops than me and the William actually was five 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 four now I don't know why he had no support skills or if it's just not loading here because I don't actually have like the full battle log anymore but let's just to say he he didn't have support skills okay because they were loading for my side this is still a nice trade on top of the fact that a lot of the other trades here went really well for me as well okay we can scroll through like look at this is just I mean this guy had at least one support skill and an expertise William uh and he took an absolute it was a bloodbath he had more troops than me by a significant amount take a little bit of negatives here we trade me basically even across a couple of these this guy you know I don't know what happened there some of these are more or less even maybe I take a little bit less and then I trade it back to somebody else it was more or less even uh, with most of these people and then we get things like this where it's like oh my god huge positive trade in my favor there here we see a nice little positive on my end and then I take a little bit you know a little bit of negatives here from AoE or whatever it's obvious that the picture that's being painted here is that Charles Martel behind a Herald is decent at taking a swarm and that's why I really liked this combination and I had a lot of reports like that where it's my single army trading basically even with a ton of other people right that's the benefit of having the bonus damage bonus counterattack damage it's damage that you're dealing to players that you don't have to even be targeting just by them choosing to hit you you're dealing all you're trading almost even now again you look at things like this and it's like obviously I had more troops here but again it's not like I'm controlling for this it's not like I'm purposely attacking people with lower troop amounts it's that my army is in the open field getting surrounded by all of these people right and it's trading really really well right and that's the benefit again of having that bonus counterattack damage or the all damage bonus right that's what you really love to see on a combination like this uh where I can trade even I'm taking all the active skills and for me I'm just dealing the circular AoE with Herald and the bonus damage in the shield from Martel. And again, these reports, they continue. There's a lot of reports where it's relatively even. Maybe it's more positive for me than negative. This one, I think, was actually a, definitely a more positive for me in virtually every exchange. And again, this is with me only targeting one of the, the four that were hitting me. And this was, I think this was all one guy, actually. Yeah. We could take a look at this one. Relatively even trade up front there. Even trade here. Take a little, I took a little bit of a negative there. A little positive there. Basically even here basically even here and so th the point that I'm making here is I'm not trying to say that uh Charles Martel is going to just absolutely dominate everyone surrounding you 
but what I am saying is that you can 1v5 or 1v8 or whatever and yeah you might go a little bit negative but the fact that you're one army dealing all this damage to so many players simultaneously if you can afford the hospital bill it's absolutely worth it to do that it's absolutely worth it here's another good one it looks like mostly from like two players hit me here so I got trade a little bit positive there definitely positive on that one definitely positive on that one negative on that one for sure definitely positive here we see basically even I go a little positive there a little negative there a little positive there you know kind of goes back and forth but what makes reports like this so important is that if you get surrounded by five or six or seven or more players with a normal march like try doing this with a nebu ysg try doing this with like a nevsky william try doing this with a, a guan leo you're gonna it's gonna be all negative reports and of course it comes down to like you know what vip level are you and what's your gear look like and all that stuff so if you're like a mega kraken of course then maybe your guan leo can just absolutely dominate in the open field and take a, a 10x swarm okay maybe i'm just playing on it with different rules than you because you're rich but what i'm saying here is that if you're getting swarm down this is probably an army that you're going to want to use in those scenarios okay you're going to trade pretty even with a lot of players and there's not a lot of armies that can do that okay now i talked about how i prefer harold being the primary here or in the case of cpo he would be the primary but let's say you want to use charles martel as the primary and there's plenty of reasons why you'd want to do that in the early game you might want to use him with alex and have the defense tree because he just wants you want him to be a little bit more tanky maybe or maybe you want to hide a sun tzu behind your charles martel so that way people don't know you're bringing in epic to the the open fields and you gain the bonus of that aoe or maybe you want to have an isong a behind your martel because you're in the early game and that's sort of the best thing that you can do wonder some good talent builds for charles martel so let's go ahead and take a look here now this is one talent build where i just went all the way up to the top of the infantry tree and we went ahead and grabbed the one percent health off to the right and the six percent health off to the left then we came down here in the defense tree and we grabbed testudo formation we also grabbed a spiked armor on our way over here to loose formation which reduces the skill damage you take by nine percent or you could do something like this which invests much more heavily in the defense tree now you can see here i didn't grab desperate elegy because i just feel like when you come down to 30 percent of units remaining this isn't that great it's it's just not usually around 30 percent you want to be headed back to the uh you want to be headed back to the city now of course if you get caught in the open field then like hey maybe this is nice because you're going to regenerate a ton of extra rage but realistically I'm not, I'm not in love with this talent here so we did come over we grabbed medicinal supplies just because we could but you can see here that we're focusing mostly on reducing the damage that we're taking here okay because there is a negative to balance here in that you're dealing less damage but realistically if Charles Martel is your primary you're probably not dealing a ton of damage anyway so you definitely want to take that trade off down here you can take loose formation again reducing the skill damage you're taking and you absolutely want to go ahead and grab undying fury for the rage here i think iron spear is important um I, there's just so much cavalry you're definitely going to see nevsky in the open field so like you're going to be hitting calves so you might as well get that nine percent extra damage hold the line is very very good and then we grabbed a bunch of extra health here and the one percent in defense now in the event that you're going to be using charles martel to defend your city this is sort of the build that i would go with uh you really only grab that front line of the garrison tree because these two here are terrible they do literally nothing I think the jury is still out does King's Guard work in cities or not I I literally don't know it says here that it's only strongholds and it doesn't apply to your city I think the last time people tested this it doesn't work in your city so I'm pretty sure that it doesn't some people claim that it does I don't really know I'm just going to assume that it doesn't based on the text if it did you would want to grab this but since it doesn't say it in the text we're not going to and we don't push very far into the infantry tree either because when you're doing a city defense you're gonna have a ton of cavalry you're gonna have a ton of archers as well and any point that gives you just infantry stats is wasted because it's not going to be on all the other units that are in your city but you definitely want to go ahead and grab iron spear this is because you're pro if you're taking a city rally there's probably going to be a lot of calves involved because calves move fast across the the battlefield so even if it's like a Mehmed rally there's probably going to be a lot of calves in there but most likely it'll be like an Attila Takeda or something with Nevsky so that's something to keep in mind now of course this is only for your infantry that so that kind of sucks but you just don't really have a good place to put these these three points anyway um you gain extra rage from an undying fury and normal attack damage is going to be important here because that doesn't apply to just infantry that's all your units and same thing with call the pack this actually when you're at 50 percent strength which you will get to if your city is rallied you get six 
60% defense to all troops, not just infantry, all troops. Very important stuff there. To pseudo formation, once again, we grabbed loose formation. Balance, I was sort of on the fence about, but I figured you might as well take it. It's it's a it's a, it's actually a positive here overall when you do the math. And then the extra five points I just threw in the attack and the health here. Um, the importance is that these are not again not specific to infantry because your city will have a bunch of different units in it. Now, of course, if you have like 80% of your troops are infantry because you just trained for a mightiest governor or something like that, then maybe you would want to put more points up here. But if you're assuming that you have an even spread, then this is probably one of your best bets. I purposely didn't grab medicinal supplies. You don't want to heal on your wall because then you're just going to heal your slightly wounded units and turn them into severely wounded, which makes your hospital uh, get filled faster. And again, desperate elegy maybe you would want it but that means you would have to take medicinal supplies and I, I don't know I'm just not that interested so at the end of the day is Charles Martel still good in 2022 actually yeah again surprisingly he's just the gift that keeps giving he's just a very solid overall commander if you know who to pair him with in the late game and that's why he just gets so much love now guys for the last 10 days I've actually been uploading a little bit less frequently than I've wanted to and if you noticed that it's because I've actually been super busy outside of YouTube I actually have a job outside of this and I got a new role so I've been training for that role and it's just taken up a lot more time than I thought next week everything should sort of be back to normal so you can look forward to that and I did just want to say thank you once again to the sponsor of this video gemstone legends sponsors make it possible for me to upload a little bit less for frequently and not feel like completely freaked out about it. So please click the link in the description below to give the game a try and you'll get your $50 worth of in-game goodies for free. With that being said, guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you made it all the way to the end, you might as well drop a thumbs up on it. You made it all the way here. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and click that bell to be notified the next time I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video. Comment down below your thoughts on Charles Martel. Do you like him or do you not? With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.